Welcome to another edition of a week of mass shootings. There were 10 mass shootings last week, so we're still in the double digits, and we'll look at all of them in a minute, but let's first look at the top cities from 2022. Chicago, Philly, New York City, Atlanta, and Baltimore. And the top five cities so far in 2023 are Chicago with 33, Philly with 19, Memphis with 13, and Baltimore and Dallas both with 11. So Chicago, Philly, and Baltimore have been on the top five for a second year, at least so far. We're currently at 618 mass shootings with over a month to go in 2023. So we're already ahead of 2020 and every year before that, and should finish somewhere between the 2022 and 2021 numbers. So let's start with November 20th. In Fairborn, Ohio, Beaver Creek, where four were injured. This is the first one for Fairborn this year. Happened at a Walmart. Three females and one male, all adults, were injured. And the suspect, 20-year-old Benjamin Charles Jones, he killed himself after he shot them. Um, he, it happened around 8.30 p.m., and the witnesses described the shooter as a tall, young, white guy with a rifle. Okay, also on November 20th, in West Cliff, Colorado, three were killed and one injured, and this is the first one in West Cliff this year. And 63-year-old Rob Gears, 73-year-old Beth Wade Gears, and 58-year-old James Dalton, they were all the ones that were killed, and Patty Dalton, an adult female, was also injured. The suspect, 45-year-old Hanmick Clark, their neighbor was arrested in New Mexico after a 25-hour manhunt. This happened at 2.30 p.m. on Monday, and it happened because of a property dispute, dispute or over like property lines and easements between their properties. November 21st in Philadelphia, two were killed and five injured, and this is the 19th one for Philly this year. 31-year-old Roger Marquez, and 38-year-old Leon Pierre, they were both killed, and all the victims were male aged 19 to 38, and this was listed as drug involvement, and it said over 70 shots were fired, and it happened around 8.30 p.m. in North Philly. On November 21st, in Watsonville, California, two were killed and two injured, and this is the first one for Watsonville, and it happened at the El Torrio uh, club, one female, one male were killed, two females were injured. The suspect, Sergio Carranza Ram Ramos, he was arrested. It happened at 1.07 a.m., and Ramos turned himself in at 8.07 p.m. that night and was charged with two counts of murder. And if you notice, again, this one had a lot of females in it, and we're getting a lot of that lately where, where a lot of females are being involved in this stuff. And also notice that, that, again, that one was the first, and you'll see how many first cities that had their first ones we have this week. November 22nd in Goodman, Mississippi, one was killed and three were injured. This is the first one for Goodman. 17-year-old Clyde Zavian Landfair was the one that was killed, and it was a drive-by that happened, that happened around noon, and 50 to 60 shots were fired. Also on November 22nd, in Lumberton, North Carolina, six were injured. And this is, again, the first one for Lumberton. Happened at Odello's Restaurant and Bar. Four adult females and two adult males were the ones injured. Happened at 11.45 p.m., and shots were fired into the restaurant through the back wall. So this was indiscriminate fire. They don't know that if any of the people that were hit were actually the target of the shooting. November 23rd in Chicago. This is the 33rd one for Chicago this year. Five were injured. All males aged 15 to 18, and this one was a drive-by, and the victims were standing on the sidewalk when they were shot, and it, was, it happened just after midnight. It happened on near West Side, which 2% of Chicago's homicides uh, happen in this neighborhood. So it's a, it's a bad neighborhood, but it's not definitely not one of the worst in Chicago. The victims were leaving a concert at the United Center, and the last mass shooting in Chicago was on October 29th, and there was one, they actually had them in back-to-back -back days, 28th and 29th, so it's been almost a month since their last mass shooting, and I talk about this stuff a lot, about some of this being suspect, um, 
Chicago going nearly a month without a mass shooting. You can believe that they went almost a month without a mass shooting, or maybe some of the mass shootings were not reported. Okay, again, on November 23rd in Decatur, Georgia, four were injured. And this is the third one for Decatur. This one was also a drive-by. The victims were aged 37 to 57, and over 100 rounds were fired into a house. And it happened around 3 a.m. There were other people in the house at the time that did not get struck by gunfire. On November 23rd in Memphis, Tennessee, four were injured. This is the 13th one for Memphis. All adults, three female and one male. Again, more females than males. Happened at 9.30 p.m. and two suspects ran from the area leaving a stolen vehicle behind. And this was the fourth shooting to occur in Memphis on Thanksgiving. So Memphis... Thanksgiving Day was a bad day for Memphis as far as shootings in general go, and again, getting their 13th mass shooting of the year. There were no mass shootings on the 24th and 25th, and if you follow my channel a lot and watch these mass shooting videos, you know that it's kind of rare for us to go two days without a mass shooting. So that's kind of rare. It's getting colder out, so... It's going to become a little more common, but it's still very rare to go two days in a row without a mass shooting. So November 26th in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, five were injured. And this is the third one for Winston-Salem. Uh, happened at Spot Bar and Lounge around 2.30 a.m. And a 23-year-old female, of, the, of those injured, the 23-year-old female has life-threatening injuries. So if you noticed how many of the mass shootings were their first one, there was one, two, three, four, five of the ten. It was their first one of the year for that city. And I bet if I looked back on last year, I bet it was their first one. I bet they didn't even have one in those cities last year either. So half of them this year or this week were, it was their first one, and there were two of them that had three, and then you had Memphis with 13, and you had Chicago with 33, and you had Philly with 19. So you had three of our cities that have, you know, of the most, and then, you know, five cities that it's their first, and a couple that had their third. The ones, the cities that are reporting more mass shootings now are not the big cities. It's the smaller towns that it's their first one, they can't avoid not reporting them. And I think the because of the way the year started, if and again, if you've been following this, you've heard me say this before, because of the way this all started this year, we were so far ahead of the 2021 record-breaking 690 pace that it wasn't even funny. And then suddenly everything just dropped off for a few weeks where nothing was hardly being reported. And now since then, it's basically just the cities that are reporting their first one where they can't hide it. And cities that are having them in areas of town that you can't hide it. So I'm not saying that the numbers are being smudged and that these things are, they're not reporting everything properly, but it kind of looks that way. Either way, we're going to finish this year with the second highest mass shooting numbers that we've ever had. Uh, we were on pace to go over 700 easy, and 690 in 2021 was the record, and we're going to be you know, up near that probably by the end of December, depending on how these things um, continue to get reported. This is a weekly video, so if you like this type of content, hit that like button, leave your thoughts in the comments, and consider subscribing. And I'll catch you next week.